let's talk about oh, motherfucking this fucking big horsey, Megan. Megan, you started off really, really good. I really liked Megan in the beginning, but she did that Aquarius bullshit, like, which is be fake. You know, young Miami and Megan, I'm telling y'all about Aquarius women. They can be so fucking two-faced. Like, I don't know what's up with them. With Megan, I fucked with Megan. I thought she was bringing her own style, her own swag, something different to the table when she first started out. Um, you know, she doesn't... She doesn't give mini Nicki Minaj. She's she's different than Cardi. She's different than Nicki. She's different than all the other girls. Like, she has her own voice, her own flow, her own whatever, whatever. Like, I like that about Megan. I like that Megan is Megan. She has her own brand. She's got her own sound. She has her own shit going on. And I enjoy that about her. Even though I really don't like how she's come off in the public. And her music hasn't really been sticking as of lately. It's all about sex. <laughs> Her music is sex, 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 sex. It's all about the same thing. And I think a lot of it too is like she just been dropping album after album after album after album. And it's just not sticking. Like I, I appreciate her hustling. Like because, you know, Lil Wayne has released a lot of music. Like he's one of the hardest working rappers. He just releases, releases, releases. Mix it at the mix it at the mixtape. But, and they're all about the same thing, you know. Drugs, money, killing, women, um, you know, just degeneracy, he, you know, but he's got, he's got talent. Like he's, he can rap and he's got some, he's got some good mixes and some good beats. I don't know. Like he's just, the delivery is good. And the thing is not all of Wayne's music sticks with me. Like some of his mixtapes, I'm just like, no, I can't get into them. Some of them, some of them are better than others. But with Megan, I'm just tired I'm tired. And what has really, really worn me out with Megan is the Tory Lanez thing. That has really overshadowed so much of her career. It's just hard to even listen to anything she has to say or whatever, whatever. And with the music, I don't know. It's just a lot of drama around Megan. Like, I didn't like Hot Girl Summer with Nicki. Let me start there. Let me go back there. I didn't like that. I thought it was very mediocre. And I just hated how it was all that drama after. I just really, really did. I just really didn't like that. It was just like all this shit. And Megan brought that on herself because you was talking shit about Cardi B with Nicki Minaj. And then you ran off and did a song with Cardi and was all her bestie. And that was just weird. And Cardi B doesn't give a fuck about Megan. She's just, she just needs a hit. She just, Cardi B is all about herself. But Megan, that was just weird. And then all this all this drama it's like she falls out with everybody people always say oh nikki beats with everybody well megan falls out with everybody like her mommy is dead her grandma is dead where the fuck is her dad she just fell out with kelsey who again y'all refuse to believe is her fucking sister they look so much alike they sound so much alike they are clearly related but you guys refuse to see it and that's why the illuminati will always win what else? Her stylist, you know, um, Carl, Tari, Kylie, you know, and a lot of other people. It just seems like Malibu Mitch, you know, it just always some shit with Megan. So I just feel like Megan, you know, all of the drama around you is really like overshadowing your music and your image. You know, she's, she's definitely got a big team. She's with Rock Nation. Um, she's all over the place, you know, Nike this and what else does she promote? Popeyes and stuff like that. I just don't think that music is... You know why the music isn't sticking? Because it all sounds the same. Like, you know, Lil Wayne has done different styles. Drake has done different styles. Beyonce has done different styles. Kanye has done different styles. Nicki has done different styles. Like, Nicki has slow songs. She's got, she's got a big hit, like, Moment for Life. You know... Super bass, which is like a love pop song. Like Megan didn't do the crossover pop well with the Dua Lipa Sweetest Pie. She didn't do it well. She and it just I don't know. Like Megan's music, it just is all the same. It's all turn up party music. None of it is these some of these girls need like a good slow tempo record. They need a they do need like a, a, a collaboration with an R and B girl. The rap and the R&B girls need to collab. Like, it's all these rap girls collabing, collabing, collabing. And I get it. I get it. But the, especially with women, women, we if, if the men, if Drake can do it, if Drake can be as big as he is, the women got to do, like, 
we got to link up. Like, 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 what's her name? Nicole Ray and Missy Elliott, they did a good job. When R&B singers get with female rappers, he can be created, girls. You know, that bullshit that Summer Walker and SZA and Cardi B came out with, that was trash. Y'all do better. But I really do want, you know, more R&B, especially because it's all a lot of black girls. So it'd be great if the black R&B girls can link up with the black female rappers and they could do their thing. Like, that would be dope. So I'm just, you know, I hope that happens for the girls. But that's what Megan needs because all of this rap just isn't working. And the last song that I heard from Megan that I liked was Crying in the Car. And that's because it was a different vibe. I'm sick of all this Houston club music. Like, you're mainstream, sweetheart. Switch it up. Um, And try different sounds because it's like, Megan, you're from Houston. You know, try some chopped and screwed music. You know, put a little different, slow your shit down a little bit. Like, you just need to try try different sounds because you're just, you have the same flow. The music is starting to all blend together. You have all this drama. It's just a lot. Like, Megan, I think you, I think you're okay. You're a pretty decent rapper. You just need to... Like, you just need to disappear for a while and, and regroup because you have a lot going on and it's not working for you. So who's next? 